Mike, thank you. It's that time of year when we crank up the furnace for the first time. And it seems so routine, but every year we see dozens of fires related to home heating. News Force Taylor Mitchell has some potentially life saving information. We just entered the three month window when nearly half of all home heating fires occur. The National Fire Protection Association says it's a matter of life or death. Home heating is the second leading cause of fires and injuries in the home. So be attentive when starting up your furnace for the first time. Run the heater during the daytime while everybody's awake. If you buy a generator this winter, educate yourself on using it. People will start generators. Do not run your generators inside of a garage or right near your house. It's easier than you think for drafts to bring carbon monoxide into your home. So make sure you run those outside. Aaron McReynolds with Drebeck and Hill Air Conditioning and Heating Corporation says now is the time to double check that your smoke and CO detectors work. If you do have carbon monoxide into the home, it is going to alert you because, you know, it is the silent killer for a reason. McReynolds says he's busy doing furnace checks right now. The best way to check carbon monoxide is leaks. It's always just a good thing to any kind of gas appliance you have. Get it checked out. Captain Marty Harrison at the Dell City Fire Department says even newer space heaters can pose risks. This newer model caught fire due to a simple mistake. And you can see that she had it plugged into an extension cord. This big yellow tag that's right on here, uh, line number one, it says warning to reduce risk of fire. Always plug heaters directly into a wall outlet receptacle. Taylor Mitchell, Oklahoma's News 4. All right, Taylor, thank you. If you can't afford a smoke detector, check with your local fire station because they often have some to give out.